I am JD Wolf, and welcome back to my XCOM Long War campaign. All right, coming back from the second mission, the first thing we did was buy two satellites, and then we didn't have enough cash for the third one. So we sold all three mail that we had acquired from the first two missions and bought our third satellite. Now here on the situation screen, you can see that every country is still in the council, but on impossible difficulty, we get one-fourth of their final amount of money that we would get if we had satellites over them. As I mentioned before, our plan is to take North America with all three satellites as soon as the satellite uplink and the satellites finish production. So, in anticipation of getting the satellites over North America, I transferred all of the fighter craft to North America. We lost India off the council as the aliens established a base in India. Complete. They will establish a base in one country, no matter what. And as you can see, all of the ships arrived in North America. They've all been named Six Pack Rascal, Prankster, and Grouchy. And I decided to transfer them. Now, now that they're over India, I decided to transfer them to Africa. And the reason that I did that was because we're about to put satellites over North America. If panic goes up in North America, we're going to squash it with satellites. I can't afford to have aliens over Africa and have their panic go up such that they remove themselves from the council, and I can't put satellites over them next month. So, as you can see, the next thing that happened was an abduction mission. It was moderate. I'm just going to uh, skim over this for you guys. Enough time had passed that almost everyone was available. It was described as a roadway, long corridor, lots of cars. So I decided to take two snipers, a scout, and the rest rookie. So they flew to Mexico and discovered that it was a map they were very familiar with. The mission itself wasn't too hard. It consisted of the non-snipers trying over and over to get kills. before the snipers stole them all. Now they did get some kills from Overwatch. Or lucky shots. But really, it was the sniper show. Up one. Back at base, even though the kills weren't evenly distributed, there's enough experience to go around for everyone to get a promotion. That, Like I said, that's a direct result of not so long war. Uh, both of the snipers take snapshot. The scout picked up rapid reaction, and our rookies became two infantry and one more scout. The reward of 150 credits will come in very handy. So, since we need 200 credits to build the officer training school, we sell 13 sectoid corpses and one of our two meld and build the officer training school. So, we begin moving forward and find that because we have no satellites currently up and it's still 19 days before we get any, we're getting no UFO missions. So, that is going to spell not disaster but uh, increased difficulty shall we say further down the line when we have less missions that we've gone on and less experience we finally complete the alien weaponry where we can build scopes but the problem is that we have no money as for what to research next we don't have enough alloy to research beam lasers we need 10 and I believe we have one so we decide to research xenobiology Next we get the officer training school and we decide to move forward some more as you can see three more days till the uplink and then 12 days before we can actually deploy the satellites and begin intercepting UFOs although it does take a few days for the satellites to deploy so the next thing that happens is we get our satellite uplink and we receive a request for eight weapon fragments for one engineer and we decide to go ahead and take that and move forward some more. We are now nine days out from the satellite. 
and just moving forward, hoping We're to get something. And we finally receive a council mission. So this council mission is a target extraction. We get a weapon specialist, lance corporal, and uh, panic reduction. So the next segment of this video will be that mission. Okay guys, here we are. We are going on this mission. We look forward to seeing your progress. Now this is target extraction. What it said on the description of the mission was that's Canadian uh, politician. So I believe that's the one with the depressed roadway and the little bridge. Um, it's not the general. It's not the captured woman. So uh, I'm thinking that's going to be good. I want both of the snipers, the scout, and the medic. So then the question is the assault and the gunner. I don't like taking the assault because the thin men drop in, and then the assault can't really use run and gun and the shotgun. And we don't want to get that close to thin men either, so I don't think I'm taking the sawed off shotgun either. The Rocketeer could be good, and the Infantry, but also the Engineer. Well, the Engineer needs some more experience. But as it is, he can he can bring some frag grenades to the party. So let's do some destruction. Let's do the Rocketeer instead of the Gunner, or the Infantry. Even though I like the Infantry, we're going to take the Engineer instead. He had ceramic plating from being a rookie, and he's not a rookie any longer. I'm gonna get the grenade. Now, what is the situation? He has seven hit points, okay, and a 77 aim, that's pretty good. Machine pistol. We do not want the sawed off shotgun because we don't want to get that close to a thin man. So I'm gonna take the machine pistol in this case, six, seven, eight. With the 70 aim, can't improve that anyway. Let's bounce over to the Rocketeer. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's, okay. Here is what I have discovered. You can take a rocket and also a shredder rocket. I like to take both. Now, why do I want to do that? Because the rocket launcher gives me one shot plus whatever I have over here. If I have um, a shredder rocket or whatever uh, under under abilities, if you get the shredder rocket, if you get uh, multiple rockets or whatever, that comes out of the rocket launcher. In addition to that, you can carry an extra rocket and an extra shredder rocket. So this gives her extra shots by using up her inventory with that. Her mobility is down, but she's shooting rockets. She's not going to be very accurate. Her aim is 72. Some people believe, let's take a scope, let's take... Let's get her aim up by taking an assault carbine. There you go. Yes. Yes, I am. I will do that. SMG does not have any pluses, but the carbine does. The SMG helps with the mobility, but the carbine helps with the aim. And that's what I want. So actually, taking the carbine helps the aim with the rocket launcher. So that's why I'm going to do that. As you can see, I'm not as concerned with the mobility. The scout, you know, the scout has these battle scanners. I haven't actually used them. Maybe I should. Um, her aim is 76, which is really good. And uh, I'm just going to use that. Now let's see, I don't have scopes for the snipers yet because I don't have the cash for it. I could think about going to sell stuff, but I'm not going to at this point. Um, and I think we're ready to go. We don't have enough to increase the squad size. And let's uh, double check uh, everybody's loadout. Okay, the only one using the carbine. And, uh, okay, I'm going to customize them just a second. 
All right, all I did was uh, change the hair color of the Rocketeer and Engineer. We're gonna go with this. And everyone is using the rifle. That was the carbine. Yeah, it's a little smaller. All right, sniper rifles. All right, and I have, uh, on the snipers, I do have that armor. If they get hit, I don't want them going down. They're too valuable. And I'll replace those with scopes once I do have scopes. We'll head across the Pacific. Dropship has arrived. To Vancouver. Drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Okay, this is not the map that I was expecting. Is this the laundromat? Here we go. The VIP for this operation goes by the name of William Thorne. He's an influential politician suspected of collusion with the aliens. We need you to bring him in alive for... questioning. Get him to the Sky Ranger for evac. This is absurd! Do you honestly think I would turn my back on my country? I am not a traitor, damn it! New objective received. Okay, we gotta get him back there. Huh. I don't remember having this mission before. I remember this map, though. Okay. First, we, we need to locate this guy. Do we not know where this guy is? Let's go to the Sky Ranger. <laughs> we don't even know where this guy is. Let's, um... Yeah, this is the laundromat. Okay, we're starting from this area of the map. Let's secure the alley. Heading there now. Me muevo a la posición. Okay, and the little canister there. I'd like to secure the laundromat first. Get him and escort him. So see, that's what I meant. One shredder and two regular rockets. For a rookie, basically. Um, that is a ladder. So let's send the scout. Let's Position send the scout confirmed. up. Nothing up here. That should be a safe move. You definitely want to have them in cover now because they have itchy trigger tentacles. And they will... Oh, there's the guy. <laughs> okay. We need to get him to the Sky Ranger. I'm sorry. I'm just, like, not understanding that. Put him up here. I'm sorry. That was... That was funny. I'm like, he's standing right there. Hey, wait. There's a guy behind us. All right. Um... Oof, that was that was not good. All right, for the Rocketeer, let's put her right up there. Give her a good field of fire. And you want the Rocketeer out in front because if they miss, then you know they're not going to kill everybody. Um, I'm assuming this is like a normal map where you have to kill everything on the map, but I'm going to concentrate on getting him to the Sky Ranger first, if at all possible. Let's just put the medic right there at the top. Um, is he? Yeah, he's getting some defense right there. Okay. Overwatch. Strike one. You've got a wave of x-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. Now, by moving so far, we lost our overwatch. 
Those are definitely aliens. That alien is yep. unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. Now the problem with Itchy Trigger Tentacle is that he dropped in flanking, but looks like they're forced to go on Overwatch immediately. Like they normally do, because all three of these guys were flanked by that by that uh, by that alien. So I'm on the move. Move Hannah up. Now you see in this in Long War, she can now shoot, although her accuracy is much reduced. She could shoot a rocket, and then when you shoot a rocket, you see you have it says scatter, 1.5 tiles, 3.8 tiles. Um, so it could be you could go anywhere. I mean. And her range, you see, the range is like, uh, like maybe a blue move. Let's see. Uh, no, I mean, well, her range is better than one move. It just doesn't look very far to me. I'm sorry. You know, I said it was like a blue move, but Headed there now. maybe it's a little farther than that. It just doesn't seem like a lot. Okay. Okay, she can't move, so you I'm not going to no move him. You have right to do this. I work for the people. On whose authority do you operate? Even though, see, if she got spit at, he would uh, get the poison as well. And I'd like to get the snipers on the roof, too. I'd like to get the snipers on that roof. But they do not have any genetic modifications to get up there. And I'm just gonna put everyone on Overwatch here. I've got my eyes on. Except he'll put his head down. So there are guys moving around. Let's see if we can spot anything. Um, she moves up that far, battle scanner. Yeah, you know, let's throw a battle scanner out there. Scanner in the air. I mean, the way to the Sky Ranger looks clear, but I know we're going to get drop ins. Mimeto in movimento. Rocketeer can't move as far. Let's put uh, I'm rolling. Cleaner Deer out in front and then our Rocketeer. Whoops. On my way. Okay, question is Do we have the snipers join them? I like that position. That gives a lot Let's of good coverage. This. Oh, she got a nickname Snake Eyes, and we have her with the nickname of Cyclops. I kind of missed that on the uh, on the changes. Let's leave her down there. I'd like to put her behind. Let's put her right there. She's going to get full covered that way something comes up that way she can pull back overwatch I'm not going to move him yet to anyone until I'm given proper legal representation okay there are aliens in that direction now I'm going to move William up. Okay, I want everyone to be able to overwatch. Position confirmed. And protect him, but not be so close to him. Or so close to each other that they get spit at. Moving to position. Corner is good, where you're protected in both directions. That's good. 
can't put everybody on a corner. Now. Let's keep them spread out two tiles in between each one. I like the sniper's position there because she can see down and straight like that. And then for her, that scanner is telling us there's nothing down here, so she should be able to move there and not activate anything or see anything. All right. Enemy forces headed your way, strike one. Sectoid. Oh dear, now the sectoid is flanking. My sniper. Miss the target. But it decides to move. Overwatch shot misses. Overwatch from the sniper. That was a leader. Five points did not kill it. It had like six hit points. Okay. That's very good. We killed that. But didn't we have a thin man drop in? I think he dropped in to the side there. It's hard to know on what point of the map that was. I'm thinking he's over there. Dead thin man there from before. Not quite sure. Is that him or is that something else? It's not moving. I'm a little worried about that. Let's spread them out facing that way. way. Moving out. Okay, that's not spread out, I understand. Um, <laughs> sniper is close enough. I want to be able to get Overwatch. She's not going to be able to Overwatch, but she'll be up next time. I don't want her down there anymore by herself. That's affirmative. Okay. And the Rocketeer. Heading there now. There. Move our guy back over there. Hopefully we'll have enough overwatch to just take him out if he jumps up on the roof. That's what I'm anticipating is having him jump toward us. Well, we have something going on over there. Moving. See if our sniper can see something. Nope. Aye, aye, Commander. Let's move on up a little. Uh, I didn't give him. I want him to move up there. Uh, on the move. Let him move down there. Hopefully he'll jump up there. Maybe he's not going to jump up at all. We need to get to the edge of the roof. Moving to designated position. Covered by the sniper from over there, so I dashed him. I'll keep him right there. It's Overwatch. Okay, the fact that he here is closest and it's in that direction means they're down here right in this corner. So, I'm worried about this thin man. Headed there now. Put our rockets here over here. Nope, that's just a foam thing. Moving. Nope, nothing there. Okay. Alright, we're 
we're pretty spread out across the roof. I'm looking for these guys. Okay. Whoa. Let's put her right here. Posición confirmada. For a good corner for defense and get an 84. Fire. Three points. 65% is not bad. Let's take that. He's down. Ammo right. out. Very nice. Very nice. Ammo out though. Moving out. Put her there. Move in around that side. All right, Overwatch. Overwatch. Okay, we got three up front. Oh, they're way over there. Come on. Miss the target. Yep, that's a miss. Sure enough. All right, and he dashed. Dashing is good. She needs to reload. Move okay. her up. We'll see. Move the sniper now. up and 82. Take him out. Four points. He's got five. He's better at longer ranges. Um. Her chance to hit her gun, machine pistol, 61, goodness. Let's go ahead and take that. Damn it. Darn. And they are on the wrong side of the roof to contribute yet. Put Charlie out in the open and have him drop a grenade on him. Drag out. Okay. Now, typically, the more you move up the target, the more thin men are going to drop in on us. So we want to take out these guys in. without involving. Any more. Put him right there. Okay, that's the last two. So I could either take out that one, who has six hit points, only a 25% chance to critical. It could survive and then shoot at her. I'll pull back into Overwatch over here, but still she'd be the only one on Overwatch. Boy. Do that anyway. Because she's, if she hits, she's not going to kill it. She has nobody else that can come in and back her up. And now moving out in Overwatch, he's going to have to move out of cover and move up and then get shot. She's still not gonna kill it though. Yeah, five points, that's the most she could do without a critical. And she is in full cover because half cover counts as full because she has the, the uh, what's it called? Um, low profile. All right, nobody move until we take out this guy. Still need two more hit points. 
Because he's being boosted. So now we're clear. We do have two more guys up here. Moving to position. Move her up and reload. And now let's move these guys up. So they can get in overwatch positions. Position confirmed. Position confirmed. All right, sniper as well. Although, I don't know. It'll be all right. Let's see, everybody's good. Let's overwatch. Move him over here. He's still not moving toward the Sky Ranger, so we should not be getting more more guys activated or dropping in on us. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot from the engineer. mouse was on the edge. Okay. Let's have everybody move up just a little bit. Headed there now. We still got one guy down there. Uh oh. Oh no. Whoa. Whoa. Well he drained the overwatch. <laughs> 67, that's a pretty good chance, but he's the only one that can do it. Nobody else is going to be able to get up there. Me muevo la I think I'm going to... Oh, I take that back. Let the sniper take her shot. Yes. Now he needs to do one point of damage. And a grenade is not going to reach. They don't automatically set the car on fire. Used to, you could throw two grenades and guarantee the car would explode. That is not necessarily the case anymore because it does a certain amount of damage to it. And then it, it's distributed amongst the... Aye, aye, Commander. Uh, it depends on the range is what I'm trying to say. The range from the center of the blast. I'm just moving everybody down the... Headed there now. Uh, On the move. Down the building. I'm gonna go ahead and move him right here. That should activate some stuff for. <laughs> Drop in some thin men. I'm taking it very slow and cautious. Get the scout out front. That's affirmative. We didn't actually drop in anything new. Let's pull everybody back together a little bit. Moving out. Moving out. But on Overwatch. And I'm gonna have him reload. Anybody who's half or lower, let's back reload. Online. Reloading our snipers. I still want someone overwatch. Let's not move him yet. Since we're reloading, we're not going to move him. I think I heard something. All right, let's move him that far. And let's have everyone uh, pretty much stay where they are in Overwatch. Stay alert, Strike One. You've got hostile forces about to hit your position. I don't think we're alone out here. No, we're not. Everybody moves. There's some drop-ins. Thankfully, we didn't move forward because here comes some poison. And that's the problem with clustering everybody together. They could all see him. They, they all shot him. We get some more drop-ins. Actually, the game's being really nice to us. We don't have uh, any more drop-ins. Let's, um... Let's do this. Back online. Reload three and Overwatch. <laughs> the three that needed to reload the most. Um... 
we're just gonna hold our position, let the poison evaporate is what I'm doing, and reloading half the squad at a time. Ready to rock. And Manta. Oh see. Sure, that was reloaded good. All right, and then the poison will go away. The acid, that's the acid. Did you hear something? In here, they're in those buildings, and I know I'm gonna have to go back and kill them all. On my way. Nothing there. Roger that. Avanzo. And I need to be thinking about getting the. Um, the scout a little bit better mobility on from now on. She could actually That's carry nothing and have better mobility. Uh, well. I'm uh, moving up to the corner of the building. I want to scout out the corner of the building and get him out of here. So let's scout that. Solid copy. I don't see anything. He should be able to make it next turn if I move him up right here. Aye, aye, Commander. So I'm going to spread our guys out a little bit. Uh, let's put her right there. And that's good. Let's overwatch from here. Um, Overwatch? Head down. What was that sound? Yeah, they're in that building. Oh, some of them are coming out. Okay, trying to decide if they want to shoot, shoot at us or not. Nobody's... Oh. Little alien guts everywhere. All right, he can make it to the Sky Ranger. We're at the corner right there. That sh Let's be sure we're inside. Look, that should be safe. Taking me, I demand answers. VIP is safe and on board. Well done. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. We have a new objective. Of course, kill any remaining aliens. Don't we always have to do that? 61. The guy is not on Overwatch. But our engineer. Roger that. Way back over here. Can't quite throw the grenade. He doesn't have bombardier yet. 61%. Oof, not good. Put the other sniper on the case. 65. Oh dear. I don't think anybody else is going to be able to hit. Oh, I should have done that first. Rocket. Shot is blocked. Should be able to shoot right there. Going high. Clear it out for everybody else. Definitely killed the little guy, but took out that whole side of the building. <laughs> Should have done that first. All right. Um, let's move these guys up because we got more. One more little guy in there. So now we're looking to clear out. Scout up. Overwatch one. I could steady the snipers. Oh, there you go. The, the reason I'm overwatching instead of steadying them is uh, I want them to take them out. And a good chance. Oh, they both hit. See that? 
They had a good they have a good chance of shooting on Overwatch when they're in range. Executed to the numbers. Oh, that was it. Okay, yeah, excellent. The it was only eleven. That was good. They worked thin men. We are in the first month. Council mission. And I might have played it a little safe. I did have for a, it was only eleven guys. I did have pretty much overwhelming firepower, but with long war, you never know how many you're gonna get. Our troops really came through on this one. I'm glad everyone made it back safely. So like I mentioned before, we have uh, Snake Eyes and Cyclops as our two snipers. And now we have Ghost uh, as our scout. And she, she really needs to sprint. I've been having her carry battle scanners here. I can give her two battle scanners and still use a scope and use the battle scanners. Lone Wolf, she's not out front. Her mobility is not that good from what I've been giving her, but I might give her other stuff to get her better mobile. People like Flush. I really don't like Flush. Um, the Battle Scanner, does that give her mobility? Let's see. Yes, it does. I'm going to go ahead and take the Battle Scanner. All right. Um, Lance Corporal, no nickname. Uh, Rocket, I'm going to go with the Heat Warheads for dealing with the uh, robotic enemies. We do have some robotic enemies already, the little um, the little guys. Okay, now Grenadier and Sapper. I do like Sapper, additional damage and additional environmental damage. And that's mainly what I'm using the grenades for is environmental damage, so I'm doing that. As far as smoke goes, I'm saving that for the medic. Um, no alloy here, weapon fragments, one meld. So it was a very successful mission, and we have a new recruit, Mr. Thorne. We will be in touch, Commander. Our new recruit is Matt Armstrong from Canada. All right, so oui, commandant. being from Canada, <laughs> affirmative. Bien, commandant. I'm gonna make him speak French. He's French Canadian. All right, uh, 66, high mobility, bad defense. We have a gunner, we have a rocketeer. I'm not a big fan of either one. The aim is not that bad, but not that great. The defense is not that terrible. Minus one, but not that great. Mostly it's a high mobility. Gunner. Uh... I'm tempted to go random, is what I'm tempted to do. Because a high aim on the gunner is good. Rocketeer is nice to have early. Let's go random, see what we get. Another engineer. Alright, why did he not turn yellow? I know I applied my colors. <laughs> I'll have to go see. I think because he already he was already promoted up. And Sapper. So now I'm going to have two. I do need two of them on any capture mission that I'm going to go on. One to blow the cover and keep the guy running and uh, what and allow. Okay, one grenadier to blow the cover so that the snipers can do disabling shot, and another to move in and uh, arc thrower. So it's not a bad thing. I just need to change his color yellow and dye his hair yellow all right so i hope you enjoyed that mission if you did please like subscribe tell your friends and until next time stay safe